Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only and for those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. And through this channel, I'd like to provide you with some stock analysis and also a short trading lesson at the end, so please stay tuned. Okay, so before we start today's stock analysis, I'd like to just give a shout out to Mark, uh, Mark Hall here. So uh, Mark Hall left me a comment and he says, another great video, thanks for the update on LKCO. Really appreciate the videos on Chinese markets. Any news or predictions on Looking Coffee, LKNCY? Uh, thanks again. So I did uh, reply to Mark and said I would make a, a video on this stock for him. So um, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I'd like to look at the price for this close of play on Friday. So this finished uh, just up in excess of 0.4% at $7.15. So in terms of the week, uh, this has gone up in excess of 6.24%. So some good bullish signals there. However, on the month, this stock is down in excess of 14%. It's up just in excess of 2% on, on the three months but it's also up in excess of 255% on the year. However, what I'd like to now do is look at the overall chart for this for a longer period. Okay, so if we have a look at the uh, five-year chart here. Uh, it's a very interesting um, chart here. So we're gonna look at that uh, shortly. So however, before we do that, let's have a quick uh, profile of the company. So it's a Chinese-based company. Looking Coffee is a Chinese-based coffee company. Uh, with a coffee house chain. It was founded in Beijing in 2017 and as of January 2020 uh, it's managed 4,507 kiosks and which has exceeded the number of Starbucks coffee stores in China. So certainly it appears to be the leading coffee outlet in China and if we look at the chart now let's have a look at a little bit of uh, analysis of that. Okay, so this chart is very interesting. So if we look at the period prior to January the uh, 17th, 2020, we can see it was trading uh, before that um, around the $20 mark. And then around, uh, just be prior to January 2020, there was a significant spike upwards, very, very strong bullish movements. And on a high, it reached uh, a price of just over $50. So we can see on the 17th of January 2020, the price was just in excess of $50. So what we can see there is there has been a huge, huge movement downwards, a little bit of consolidation, and it's come from the overall high of well in excess of uh, just, just, sorry, just over $50 to currently trading at $7.16. So what's the reason for this? What happened? And what's the prognosis for the future? Okay, so the first headline I'd like to share with you here is from the Financial Times and the headline here is Looking Coffee to pay $180 million in accounting fraud settlement. So the US regulator hit the delisted Chinese coffee chain with a penalty for fabricated accounts. So a very worrying headline here. Let's have a look at what the details are of this. Okay, so let's delve a little bit deeper. So this article is from December the 16th, 2020. So what's, what happened on this date? in terms of this news article is that US regulators hit the, 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 the stock with a $180 million penalty, finding that the Chinese chain altered bank records and set up a fake database as part of an effort to fabricate its accounts. So very, very serious allegations here. Uh, the company was, was charged with defrosting in, uh, defrauding investors uh, in terms of materially misleading revenue and expenses, inflating its growth rates and underestimating understating its losses. So Lukin did agree on uh, to a settlement, which is okay. So let's move on to the fourth paragraph here. So we can the see allegations. Here that it was once touted as a rival to Starbucks. It was listed in New York on the Nasdaq, uh, and obviously it, hundreds of million dollars of sales had been fabricated. So obviously the stock was delisted from the Nasdaq. So at right now it will be trading on the OTC. Okay, so what I'd like to do now is look at current news uh, in terms of what's happening right now. So this is a headline from May the 20th, uh, 2021. This is from The Motley Fool and the headline here is two top stocks trading under $10. Okay, so from the article, we can see that one of the stocks highlighted is Lukin Coffee. So let's have a look at the details of here, from here. We know that uh, it's a high profile stock. It has had uh, sales fraud and subsequent 
uh, brand cup Brazil. However, Lucan Coffee has fallen off the radar for a lot of mainstream investors. So a lot of people are not really touching this stock. Um, behind all this uh, information, there's a, there's a statement here that this is actually a rapidly growing business with a decent ba balance sheet, and it might be time just to give this another uh, consideration in terms of investment. So the co Chinese coffee shop chain could be another chance uh, to, to get back on track. So in February, uh, they filed Chapter 15 bankruptcy um, in, to shield itself from the US lawsuits while getting its finances in order. So in March, it announced a deal of a restructure, 59.59% uh, 59 59 of its $460 million debt to improve its capital and structure. So creditors are going to receive a combination of cash, 32% uh, and debt 53% with uh, additional shares 6% in exchange for their notes. So the deal will reduce the total amount of debt outstanding. So the company is trying to deal with its issues there and allow it to go forward. Uh, so let's have a look at the balance sheet there, fourth paragraph down. Uh, with $742 million on its balance sheet as at December 2020, plus an additional $250 million in equity finance raised in April, the stock does look capable of meeting its obligations. So net revenue is expected to be uh, grow by in excess of 39%. And its customer base, uh, according to this, is in excess of 4.2 billion uh, Chinese um, renminbi, which is equivalent to $652 billion. So that is a huge, huge figure. So the company expects to reach its cash flow and break even uh, in the first half of 2023. So we're looking at long-term growth here okay so the final headline at the bottom in here is get in before the crowd arrives so the purpose of the article here is to say well the price to sales ratio is 11.4 and 2.6 res respectively and Lucan coffee is attractively attractively valued considering the balance sheet considering the potential revenue uh, also the growth rates and also its current price of seven dollars and fifteen cents Okay, so let's finish off by having a price prediction and a possible strike price for this stock. So I'd like to just refer back to the chart that we saw previously for the five years. We can see obviously uh, time of filming, close of play on Friday. It was at $7.16. The general momentum uh, seems to be support around $6.80, around that mark. However, obviously the, we can see that this is a very risky stock uh, to hold in terms of your overall portfolio being a, a larger uh, section of your portfolio so certainly if you are considering investing in this stock should only be a, a small percentage of your portfolio uh, i do think there is potential for this stock going forward in the future i think it's a high risk stock in terms of an entry price right now for myself i, I don't think i would enter this stock uh, unless I see see this at six dollars and fifty. So if we can catch this at six dollars and fifty, that would certainly be a, a risk worth taking. And uh, what I would also can do is consider an exit around ten dollars for this stock. In terms of a price prediction, right now um, for the for the one year, uh, I think this stock after one year will, could possibly touch uh, ten eleven dollars. However, that, that is with certain conditions in terms of the debt management, uh, in terms of how they operate their finances. Long term, five years with, with the growth in China, with the potential that they have in terms of e expansion. Uh, within five years, certainly, that if, if all goes well, then certainly this could be $25 plus stock. Okay, so it's now time for lesson of the day and today we're going to continue with our series on chart analysis. So today's chart is called the falling wedge. So before we look at the actual chart itself, let's have a quick description of this. So it's a symmetrical pattern, easy to spot thanks to the distinctive shape uh, developed by two trend lines converging together. So those trend lines you'll be able to see in the grey on the screen. Uh, the pattern is created by two drawing trend lines which connect to a series of peaks and troughs. So the trend lines create a barrier and once the bar uh, price breaks through these, it's usually followed by a very sharp movement in price. So this is overall a bullish signal. So we can see on the left hand side as the price is moving up uh, in terms of the green line, uh, we can see it does converge downwards. Uh, we have a support line there in the grey horizontal line and the resistance line at the top. And just before they combine together and touch together on the right hand side, we can see the red circle which indicates a, a breakout 
So this is a good indicator to buy into this stock uh, just before the breakout. So it's a good bullish signal just before uh, uh, breakout. So whether I'd circle this, good time to enter this stock. Again, depending on the stock, we, it would also be wise to have a um, stop loss as well. So I hope that helps. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.